It's Hampton, it's Kickatan, and it is from Kickatan High School. So let's go right into it, Matt. And this game will have an impact on the standings in the PD as Hampton playing right behind Woodside in the standings and Kickatan trying to help their seeding for the district tournament. And right out of the gate, you see Hampton getting the outside shot to fall. Count that three-pointer for the Lady Crabbers. Yes, that's right. This is a matchup, as you mentioned, Hampton trying to secure their number two spot behind Woodside, who went undefeated in district play. But Hampton right now trying to take care of their own business. Hampton with the transition game going here as they get this shot to go right. Oh, no good. Rebound, offensive rebound as they got that shot to go. But let's step behind the line and deal the three-point shot to go. As if you don't get inside, let's go for three instead of two. It works yeah. better. A nice nice uh, decision there. Three always beats two. Now Kikitan trying to answer here. They'll bring the ball up the floor, and they're going to dribble drive all the way to the cup for the easy lay-in. And this looks like it's going to be a close one all the way. Brittany Towns with the layup for the Lady Warriors there. And like you said, this will be, go down right to the wire, you figure here, as these two teams have been pretty evenly matched all season long. Kikitan trying to get the post-up game to work, but Hampton right there with the steal. And when you get a steal like that, it's going to usually turn into two points. And it does. Khadija Berger with the layup for Hampton. The Berger, one of the top players in the PD, has her team out to a double-figure lead here. Still with some time left in the first quarter. The Warriors trying to defend the home floor here, nearly turn it over as Hampton shows the full court press. Towns finds a nice teammate open with that nice press on the basket. Excellent ball movement, and Chelsea Romero finishing things off right at the cup. And you figure when Hampton got off to that great 12-2 start, Kickatan would have a run in him, and they do behind Romero with another basket inside the painted area. Yeah, Romero, a player getting a little bit of looks. I know a few local schools are looking at her to play at the next level, but now it's going to be Kickatan going back inside to the other threat for the easy lane. And you see just like that, they've cut what was a 10-point deficit down to one. Right down to one, Chelsea Romero down the double team, and then you got right there Jasmine Evans there to capitalize. And Hampton now trying to get some open shots to fall. That one does. Count it for Jasmine Williams, the open jumper there. Kickatan now trying to keep their surge going, but it's a turnover. No, it's not. Kickatan gets the ball right back there, and off the window goes Kiara Gray for two. Yeah, Gray, nice hustle there, able to control the loose basket. Ball, got the lane to go. But Hampton, once again, from the perimeter, will knock down another three. Thank goodness for the three-point shots. Lisa Saunders connects from deep. That's keeping Hampton right in front. Kickatan, though, playing pretty well, though, now as they recover. That time, a turnover. It'll be Saunders coming up with a loose ball. Kickatan, though, applying the traps and the defensive pressure. Yeah, Towns try to catch Hampton sleeping, but it's going to lead to another three from that same spot for the Crabbers. That one's got to hurt for Kickatan. Kanisha Bell, 39-33. Hampton on top, and they will win it 40-34 to as Hampton's big lead helped them hang on there. Kanisha Bell with nine, Khadija Berger with eight, Chelsea Romero had 11 for Kickatan in 